What's going on, guys? It is Sir Swifty, the Crypto Ninja. I'm here to talk to you about another one of my favorite projects. It's the Hex Pulse, Pulse X ecosystem. Uh, I've had a lot of people reach out and ask me, like, what is Pulse? What is Pulse X? How does it all work? So, and how do I get involved? So, I wanted to kind of film this little video. It's going to give you very introductory um, kind of research into it. Uh, if you're interested in buying it, I'll show you how. I'm not going to tell you whether you should or should not, because again, you need to make your own decisions. Um, but um, I want to help you just understand the project as I see it and know it myself. Um, so currently, uh, the Pulse X sacrifice is live. Um, we're going to talk about what you need to know. All right, so uh, it's going to help if you understand Hex, Pulse, and then Pulse X, and how that um, um, equates to like uh, what you're currently doing and probably using. Um, so Pulse Chain is an energy efficient, cheaper, faster fee burning Ethereum fork. So if you use Ethereum, um, you know that the gas fees are just out of control and it makes it basically unusable. Um, so Richard Hart, the creator of Hex, which was one of the fastest depreciating assets, um, especially in the crypto sphere, um, he, he noticed that, you know, this was going on. He said, hey, you know, we got to find a solution to this problem. Dude's mass, you know, he's a master marketer. Um, so uh, he created his own blockchain. I believe he used some Ethereum devs to do it. Um, but basically uh, using proof of stake, or sorry, using proof of stake versus proof of work, eliminating miners for reducing energy, it's making it cheaper. Um, and there's less congestion and people using it. So it'll make a, it faster fraction of the fees. Um, one of the coolest things about this is it's going to be the biggest airdrop in the world. So for every Ethereum based token you have. So if you have Shiba, you have uh, Bazoge, you have Ethereum, um, Axie Infinity, um, UFO, those are some crypto gaming projects that are out there. But any, if it's an ERC-20 token, you, um, even if you don't participate in Hex Pulse or PulseX, um, are going to get a copy of, of that on the Pulse network. So it's just a duplicate. Will it be worth uh, the same amount, I don't know. That's up to the markets to decide. Nobody really does, but you will get this copy. Uh, it's meant to entice people to to check it out and see, you know, what this is about, what these tokens are worth. Uh, maybe make a sale, see the fees, and be, oh, this is you know better than Ethereum. So, marketing genius at work right there, Richard Hart. Props to you, guy. Props to you. You are the man. Um, so that's cool. So that's Pulse. Pulse X is going to be simply Pulse Change Exchange. Uh, so it's going to have you swap PRC20s for another. Um, you can use bridges to move from Pulse X, or sorry, Pulse to Ethereum, to Polygon, um, to Solana. So you can use bridge to BSC or BNB. Uh, you can use, um, you know, bridges to kind of move between those different blockchains. Um, but Pulse X will be uh, the exchange on Pulse Change, which is a copy of uh, the Ethereum uh, network. So this is what, you know, most people's process of working with Ethereum looks like. You start by buying Ethereum, uh, you go to Uniswap, you swap your Ethereum for, let's say, Shiba or Hex, better yet. Um, so when you do that swap, there's a gas fee because there's a miner that's got to validate that. That process is expensive. Uniswap also takes, you know, a, a, a fee. Um, so what Richard Hart created with Pulse and PulseX is kind of the future of crypto, if you will. Um, and so um, instead of using Ethereum, you can now use Pulse Chain to swap tokens and, you know, de develop projects. Um, once those projects are developed, you would then use, instead of using Uniswap, you would use PulseX to swap those. PulseX is going to have less fees. The proof of stake versus proof of work uh, eliminate some of the mining process, lowering the transaction fees as well. So you have a cheaper, faster, and then something with the, uh, you know, there's no um, admin keys, so it's uh, safer. Nobody's kind of in control or can take control of the money. So safer, more secure, uh, so safer, cheaper, faster um, than what we're doing now. So um, yeah, so I hope this helps, very simple. If you want to uh, go ahead and find out more about the sacrifice phase, um, what that is and how you can utilize that to get in on this project early and get the bonuses, we'll move over to Pulse X. 
Um, so here we can see that, you know, we got hundreds, million, uh, hundreds, thousands, millions, $326 million has been sacrificed since this went live not too long ago. Uh, right here, you can go to PulseX info to find the rest of the information on the address. I never like to paste address. I like you to find them directly from the source. Telegram links, I won't really share those. Uh, let you go directly to the source and find them yourself so you don't get scammed. Uh, so the information is right there on PulseX.com. You can see um, the 10 most sacrificed cryptocurrencies. Um, right now, um, the sacrifice rate is the best it will be. So your current rate is getting 10,000 points per dollar. Um, as time goes, you can see from this, uh, you know, you'll get 10,000 points for $2, $3, you know, roughly $4 in February. 10,000 points all the way up till uh, it'll cost $10 for 10,000 points. So uh, people that get in early, buy in more, get bigger bonuses. Um, so, um, you know, if you do like this project, you like Richard Hart, you trust him, you, you see the value in cheaper, faster, uh, more secure transactions, um, then, you know, getting in early is going to be your best bet. You can find out more info here. Um, you know, it's definitely, you know, if you're into yield farming and, uh, providing liquidity, you know, there's great opportunities to make money. I'm not going to tell you how that works or what to do. It's up to you for figure out and make your decision. But you can see PulseX is going to have less of a fee. Um, making, you know, and uh, it's going to be the most liquid um, uh, exchange on Pulse Chain. So it's only going to become more rare. So um, there was a sacrifice phase for Pulse where if you sacrifice ERC-20 tokens, you would get a, a multiplier um, in the Pulse tokens, you receive an advance. If you didn't do anything, you will still get Pulse and duplicates of your ERC-20. Pulse will be your duplicate of your Ethereum. Um, not sure of the rate conversion from Pulse to, or Ethereum to number of Pulse might be one-to-one. -one. Um, you'll have to look into that yourself, um, let you figure that out. But um, so that's the sacrifice phase. It's kind of the bonus structure and the gamification of this all. Uh, then you have the PulseX.info, uh, which is the link right here I showed you at the top of the page. All right, this is going to tell you the steps. So it gives you the address, which you can copy directly here um, to sacrifice your tokens. Um, I believe you can connect your wallet, but you want to be very careful that you are sacrificing the appropriate tokens. So if you come back here, uh, I don't think this is a complete list, but this is going to be the 10 key. So if you sacrifice something like this um, for your bonuses, uh, you, you're, you're guaranteed your coins back. It might be in the FAQ or more section. Um, so here's the resources, uh, kind of an overview. You know, Pulse is the equivalent of Ethereum. Uh, Pulse X is the equivalent of Uniswap, just on a cheaper, faster, um, more secure network. Um, so here you go, Pulse X in a nutshell. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop in the comments. If this helped you at all, please like the video. Uh, check out my other videos as well for more awesome projects. And, uh, you know, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Sir Swifties out.